Hey, appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, a million questions I want to ask you. I think the first one is, there's a word that comes to mind with you, relentless, and a phrase, never satisfied. And when you talk about how you know, you've invented the curveball, you're working on the cutter, you work on your base running, you're grinding in the cage every day, you're always working, you're never satisfied. Where did this come from? Oh, it's just something that I've always been. That's just me. Uh, I'm always want to work, work to get better, uh, and do whatever it takes. Uh, I love going out there and having success and helping the ball club. So, uh, you know, coming over to the National League, there's so many, there's extra ways for me to uh, help the ball club now that now that I have to hit. So it just gives me even more things to do. I'm trying to figure out what fires me up more in your start. When, when you're when you're stalking a hitter and the game is on the line, walking around the mound like you're stalking your prey, or you're grinding out at bats, uh, you, you're digging this this hitting thing, aren't you? Well, it's just a, like I said, it's another way to to win a ball game. There's if I compete at the plate and I can get on base, you know that's the top of the order run, rolling over, and they you know they can score me. So, uh, but it's definitely I was, we'll say this, it's definitely more fun to be on the mound and. Uh, trying to shut down the other team. T take me through your last 15 pitches. Dan was talking to you about mm -hmm. it, and that's how you judge an outing. And and I have to be honest, it's my favorite part about your outing, watching you empty the tank at the very end. Yeah, I mean, when you're going to compete against the other team, uh, you know they're going to get you, you're going to get them. And usually, you know, when you're p those last 15 pitches, you know, you're deep in the ball game, and that's when the game's on the line, especially as a starter. So for me, I always take pride in making sure that those last 15 pitches is, are my best 15 pitches and that I can execute at any point in time my best fastball of the day. Even if it's a, at pitch 120, I can still throw my hardest fastball of the day at that level. So that's something I work hard at and, and pride myself on too so that when I'm in those situations, uh, I know I'm confident that I can get it done. I mean, I wish this was a 15-minute interview. I have a million questions <laughs> going through my head right now. You've been on great teams mm -hmm. that have gone through bad spells. How do you mm -hmm. guys turn this thing around? You know what? You just stay positive. Yeah, you, you just come together and you know you realize baseball's going to happen. You're going to lose some ball games. It's just, it's just part of the game. But you just got to find a way to make your own break. You know, you can't let the breaks happen and let the other team have the breaks. You got to go out there and make the breaks yourself. And when you know the team kind of comes together and rallies around that aspect it seems that that's what gets you out of ruts and that's what gets you back on the winning streaks yeah you can't sit around feeling sorry for yourself right now because things aren't going your way you got to find a way that's exactly uh, you just have to find a way to get it done you know it comes back to that it you have to find a way to get it done kind of man up so to speak <laughs> like Dan Uglis said in Atlanta uh, Bryce Harper you've been around a lot of good players you're around Miguel Cabrera for a long time in Detroit your thoughts mm -hmm. on Bryce Harper and what he's done this year uh, I just think he continues, can, continues to get better. Uh, we see great things from him all the time, and we're starting to see him get even more consistent in B's. Uh, he's, he's gotten better from the, even the beginning of the season, so that's what makes it so much fun to watch a young player like him uh, really come into his own and really do some special stuff. Yeah, he has. You're pitching the fourth game of a series. You watch three games. You have a pretty good idea what do you want to do to the Brewers? Yeah, you you know, like you, you do the scouting reports, you go over what you think that's going to be successful throughout the series, and then you, for, for me, I get a chance to watch to see what is successful and what isn't, and try to implement that into my game. So uh, it doesn't mean you're going to have good results. <laughs> I mean, that's a very good team over there. So uh, for me to go out there and have success, I got to uh, stick with what, what I do best and uh, find a way to get it done. I look forward to every fifth day watching <laughs> you pitch. It's been a pleasure so far, and uh, good luck. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. All right, thanks.